Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It's Wednesday morning. Coffee kind of morning. Uh, we have some snow happening here. So it's a little darker. Hence, my lighting is uh, a little off. I've got to do something about my lighting one day. Uh, I rely on the daylight to uh, give me proper lighting as I face a window, but when it gets days like this, the lighting is kind of off. Um, and uh, I don't like a lot of bright light in my living room, so uh, I just may, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> but um, that's why I don't record at night, because it's just uh, not good. Um, I want to continue my Albums to Discover series through Discog Shuffle. Uh, we're talking about this album here, The Great Band Cheap Trick and the album One on One. A little departure from their previous stuff, which I prefer their previous stuff, but this is not a bad album at all on its own. Um, so we'll get into that, get into some of the band, some of the albums that I have. Before I do that, I uh, just want to show you some blues uh, CDs I picked up yesterday. Uh, we're in a, uh, a lockdown, hence state of emergency in Ontario here, and uh, so no record store shopping, no... Uh, they're supposed to be a stay home, uh, even though uh, those that have to work have to have a letter to get around type of thing. It's from, from what I understand, uh, I haven't been into work yet, so, uh, but apparently there's some type of letter to show that we're allowed to get out and go to work. So it's pretty drastic stuff. Uh, the new year hasn't really been a new year yet, it's just been, it's been a continuation of the previous year. So, But uh, I do have a... Um, a fine gentleman that is selling albums and CDs. Uh, he's a record dealer. He goes to all kinds of record shows and buys and trades. Um, goes to estate sales, picks up stuff. He's got a collection that uh, you wouldn't believe. A ton of sealed albums, a ton of used albums, a ton of CDs. I think over 5,000 CDs that he's selling off. Uh, so I picked up uh, some blues CDs yesterday. I've got some albums uh, that I'm ready to pick up on the weekend. And um, it's great. You just go to his house, pop the uh, money in the door. His van's there. You open up the van door. Your stuff is there. And, and uh, give a wave, and away you go. So, uh, Or you can do e-transfer. It's awesome stuff. And he's only about 15 minutes from here, 10 minutes from here. Not, lot, not that long. So anyway, uh, I won't spend too much time on these. I just want to show you what I got. Uh, Eric Clapton Blues, great blues album, tribute to, to the blues. You've got uh, 15 tracks um, on disc one, uh, studio tracks, and then you've got 10 live tracks. Uh, live tracks include Stormy Monday, uh, Worried Life Blues, Early in the Morning, Have You, Heard, Have you Ever Loved a Woman, Wonderful Tonight, uh, Kind Hearted Woman, Double Trouble, Drifting Blues, Crossroads, uh, Further Up. Uh, further on down the road so he does some cream stuff he does some uh, his own stuff tributes um, covers and uh, it's all good love Eric Clapton it's a great CD <laughs> I love this guy too Mr. Buddy Guy I was walking through the woods this is a great great album a little younger uh, but uh, he's just a monster when it comes to playing on chess label. Love it. Then we have the King, BB uh, King. This is a, uh, a Prime Cuts Blues Legends. BB uh, King, how blue can you get? Classic BB. BB Boogie, A New Way of Driving, It's My Own Fault, Baby, so on and so forth. Um, yeah. And Deuce is Wild, BB King. This has a lot of uh, amazing artists on it as well. You've got uh, If You Love Me with Van Morrison, um, 
Visceral's Gone with Tracy Chapman, Rock Me Baby with Eric Clapton, uh, Please Send Me Someone to Love with uh, Mick um, Hucknell, uh, Baby I Love You with Bonnie Raitt, the beautiful Bonnie Raitt. I saw her in concert. She's amazing. Uh, there Must Be a Better World Somewhere with Dr. John. Just got great, great stuff. Uh, Confessing the Blues with Marty Stewart. That was a surprise, but uh, sounds great. Um, Paying the Cost to Be the Boss with the Stones. Uh, Dangerous Mind with Joe Cocker. Or, sorry, Dangerous Mood with Do Joe Cocker. Keep It Coming with Heavy D. So you get a rapper on here as well. A Crying Won't Help You Babe with David Gilmour and Paul Carrick. What a great song. Um, David Gilmour. He can play the blues, man. He, he's good. He's good. And, of course, Nightlife with Willie Nelson. So it's a great, great CD with a, a ton of great artists on it. Um, happy to have that one in my collection. And then you've got the fabulous John Lee Hooker. This is blues, blues legend. The great John Lee. A unique artist. Uh, his own singing style. No one sounds like John Lee Hooker. This one's got the house rent blues, uh, house rent boogie on it. Cry before I go, doing the shout. The motor sit, the motor city is burning. Hey boogie, Mr. Lucky, boom boom, classic boom boom by John Lee. Then you got uh, um, this is uh, the best of John Lee Hooker, 1995. Sorry, 1965 to 1974. Great album as well. All his hits, one scotch, one bourbon, one beer. Uh, Decoration Day. Um, doing the shout. I'm in the mood. Mr. Lucky. Uh, I'm bad like Jesse James. Uh, yeah. House Rent Boogie's on this one as well. The Waterfront and Bang, 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 Bang. Good stuff. And finally... A uh, gentleman I'm not very familiar with, but what I've heard so far, I love. Uh, this is Taj Mahal, Blues with a Feeling. Um, the very best of Taj Mahal, so it's a greatest hits compilation. There's uh, like 20 tracks on this one, so you get your money's worth for sure. All these CDs for five bucks. Five bucks for great blues. I mean... That's a whole discography right there, just of blues legends. Great stuff. So yeah, there's some blues stuff for you. Uh, I'm really starting to get more blues, get into more blues. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm a, I'm, I'm a sucker for a, a great guitar solo, and of course the blues has a ton of guitar solos. So uh, let's get back to this album here. Um, so Cheap Trick, great American rock band formed in uh, uh, Rockford, Illinois in 1973. Original members were Robin Zander on uh, guitar and, and vocals. Great, great vocals, Robin Zander. Uh, Rick Nielsen on uh, guitar and uh, does most of the writing for the band as well. Uh, Bunny Carlos on drums, amazing drummer, and uh, uh, originally Tom Peterson uh, on bass. Um, combination of rock, hard rock, um, power pop. Uh, they've done over 33 or 3,700 uh, live performances, which is outstanding for a band. Um, I sold 20 million albums worldwide. And uh, became members of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2016. Um, as much as I love One on One, I prefer their early stuff. So this is their debut album, uh, self-titled Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick um, album released in 1977. Uh, didn't necessarily reach the top 200. It came in about um, 2000. Uh, sorry. Uh, 207 
So just on the cusp of the top 200. Um, and uh, the single off it was O Candy. Of course, it's grown to become a, a great album since, but when it came out originally, um, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a big hit. This is also a library copy, which is kind of cool. And then, I don't have everything, but uh, a great album as well in color. Um, this is on the Epic label as well. So In Color is a great album. Uh, second album by the band. Big number one hit, uh, I Want You to Want Me and uh, Southern Girls. Then we have uh, probably one of the perhaps the most famous or, or one of the most famous live albums ever. This is Cheap Trick Live at Budokan. Uh, this is a great album. It's so good. Uh, this one put them on the map, I'd say. This one put them on the map. Um, so this is uh, one of the best selling uh, live albums, as I said. Ranked number 426 of the top 500 albums of all time. I Want You to Want Me, a big hit, of course, and Ain't That a Shame. Uh, classic radio staples, for sure. Um, one of my favorites by the band, this is Dream Police. It's a great album as well. So Dream Police, four studio album by the band. Uh, it's the most commercially successful album by the band as well. Um, it uh, reached um, number six on the Billboard's Top 200, and of course certified platinum. Uh, you've got the title track, Dream Police. You've got Voices, um, Way of the World, say Way of the World, and uh, I'll Be With You Tonight, big hits off of it. And finally, we have One on One. So, One on One is a, uh, a good album, definitely an, an 80s style album. Um, it's a sixth studio album by the band. I don't have the fifth one yet. Um, released in 1982. Um, it's the first to feature a uh, new bassist, uh, John Brandt. Uh, Tom Peterson had left uh, the group in 1980. Um, singles, excuse me, off the bet is... Um, uh, if you want my love, I want you. She's tight and Saturday at midnight. Um, Peterson uh, uh, left um, the previous album before this one. Not Dream Police, the, pre the previous album before this one. So even though John Brandt was part of the band, uh, he wasn't, re wasn't um, part of the recording of the, of the album. Uh, hence why when you see the cover, uh, his face is kind of partially covered. Uh, so he's part of the band, but he didn't really contribute to the album. And uh, so, the, of course, they had to in include him on the album because he's he's part of the band, but he didn't do any, um, any of the recording. Uh, Rick Nielsen actually played bass on most of the tracks except for three of them. Um, George Martin produced the album, which I didn't realize, which is kind of cool. Um, it's a great album. It's a uh, highly polished, um, well-produced, um, it's a little more polished than their previous stuff. The previous stuff was a little more raw, which I think I like uh, over this one. Uh, I like the, the rawness of the band. They're just kind of a loose sounding, um, band. Um, you've got that hard driving rhythm. You've got Rick Nielsen's amazing guitars. and uh, But there are some gems on it. She's So Tight, it's a great track. Saturday at Midnight um, kind of almost ventures into New Wave. Um, it's a definitely cheap trick album, but done in the 80s style. <clears throat> um, I want you. Uh, great vocals by Robin Zander. He's got great, great pipes. He, he's a really great singer. He really is. Um, 
Anna Gorson, a, a great straight ahead rocker. Uh, I want you. Uh, if you want my love, great ballad, uh, and another strong vocal by Robin Zander. Uh, looking up for number one, great power chords. Um, time is running. Um, great tune, but it gets kind of competitive. Or sorry, competitive. It gets kind of repetitive. Uh, that track, uh, but it's still overall a great tune. Um, Love's got a hold of me. Another rocker. I want you to be my. I want to be a man. Has some great, uh, strong vocals again, uh, but it's also maybe the weakest track on the album. It's it's the 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 album is really really strong, and then it just kind of peters out a bit. But overall, um, on its own, uh, perhaps uh, a great album. Um, when you compare it to their previous stuff, a little weaker, but still an album to discover. Uh, if you if you want to get into the Cheap Trick discography, this is definitely an album to get. So there you have it. There's my look at Cheap Trick one-on-one -on -one through Discog Shuffle. And uh, let's see what else we have. What's next on the Discog list? So I go to my Discogs. Again, nothing chosen here. Uh, we'll go here to random item. Oh, Asia. We just did Saga a couple days ago. Now we're getting a band very similar in style. Um, the US version of Saga, perhaps. Uh, Saga is a great Canadian band. But uh, Asia, uh, this is an amazing album, uh, 1982 release. Looking forward to doing that. Anyway, have yourself a wonderful day, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Um, I'll probably be back on the weekend with uh, more stuff to, to show you and uh, more videos. Take care, and uh, all the best to you. Stay safe.